Welcome, in front of me is an Honor Pad 9 and today I want to show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this device. So let's get started by opening up settings and in here we can navigate to home screen and wallpaper and we can start off with the home screen style. So by default it is going to have standard selected uh, but personally I prefer the drawer mode as it is much cleaner and it gives me access to all my applications in a well, neatly alphabetical order right here along with suggested applications which cycle through like the most recently used apps along with the little slide right here for the uh, basically letters of alphabet to quickly point you to a specific letter and obviously application of that name anyway going back into the settings next thing we have is display and the brightness and here we have a couple different things like light and dark mode which i believe you might be able to change throughout the setup process of the device but in here we have actual ad additional setting which is the auto switch once enabled it gives you two options either sunset to sunrise option so from sunset to sunrise or on a custom timer so this will then cycle through uh, both of these modes light and dark based on time of day or on a custom schedule Moving a little bit further down, we have additional options for like ebook mode, which just kind of enables dark mode, or uh, not dark mode, but like black and white. There we go. Or more like gray and white. Um, further down, we have display size. This might be a handy option for people that are maybe just a bit more visually impaired. So you can increase the size of the text right here. I do personally like it out the default size it seems to be the best one but you can obviously kind of go overboard with this one and make it just chunky then a little bit further down we have a screen temperature um default one is a more bluish one i personally like my display to be more warm so that's what i'm gonna go with and there is no other option for like the uh color modes like other devices have like for instance vivid uh natural or some kind of more accurate ones so this is basically as good as, as good as we can get and i do like the more warm tones of the display so that's what i'm gonna select on this device it's not like super warm like some other devices where they do have the option for color modes and also the temperature modes uh so this is more catering towards like the color modes the warm one is just a little bit more toned down you can also do it yourself uh my cut with the custom one just kind of slide this around and choose whatever color you want to be kind of dominant scrolling further down we have a refresh rates now this device does support 120 hertz refresh rate uh, which we can enable right here uh, standard will might might give you the best battery life uh, high might obviously will not while dynamic will choose between these two refresh rates 60 and 120 and just pick the one that is suited best for current moment so as of right now this display is most likely running at 60 frames just because there's nothing moving on the screen and because of that it's going to consume a little bit less battery life compared to if you had high set by default it would always be running at 120 even when there is nothing uh, no content that could benefit from that Now, last thing we have here is the video enhancer and this just kind of tries to enhance the video by adding a little bit more saturation to it contrast and all that stuff right now i only have one application that can support this which is youtube you can enable this and see if you like it or not uh, but be mindful this will consume more battery when being enabled if i remember correctly and uh, obviously won't be supported by every application so it might be a little bit of a hit or miss now last thing is the status bar not status bar but this uh, bar right here which can swipe on the little bar right here and i believe we should have access to it somehow or not because we can access it in in applications so that's a bit of a yeah i don't think there's a way to actually access it uh but you can customize this uh, drag applications into here and shrink it and just gonna this side right here on the right side it shows you i believe the foremost uh, frequently or not frequently but last apps that you have used uh, and you can obviously just kind of shrink it now one last thing that i want to showcase 
if I can find it quickly, SD gesture navigation. I've been using buttons. Uh, so let's see if we can find it under probably system and update and system navigation. And we have the gestures right here. Once enabled, it get, gets rid of the buttons and substitute it for just fully based uh, gestures, which is swipe up to go home, swipe up and hold to go to recent applications, and then swipe from either side to go back. You can also go through the tutorial to learn these gestures. It's gonna, it's gonna show you an example and tell you what to do, and just go through it, do it, and there we go. That's basically the learning process. So there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.